All right, I lied. I'm not quite done with Halloween yet. I got one last game to talk about. Ghoul Patrol for the Super Nintendo. Gah, what a horrible game. Take zombies ate my neighbors and remove any sense of technique or skill and you've got Ghoul Patrol. The story goes, this game was sort of stuck in development, and the producers were having trouble completing a game the publisher could be happy with. Then, Zombies Ate My Neighbors came out, and they quickly decided to patch things up to make it look like a sequel. At the time, it was quietly advertised as the sequel to Zombies Ate My Neighbors, but it's clearly not a sequel. It's a very pale imitation. The whole time I was playing it, I couldn't shake the feeling that I'd much rather be playing Zombies Ate My Neighbors. But you might say, dude, that's your problem. It's not the game's fault you can't suppress your feelings, which would be fair to say, but Ghoul Patrol is constantly reminding me of Zombies Ate My Neighbors. It's got borrowed sound effects and game mechanics. Like I said, it's constantly reminding me of a much better game I'd rather be playing. But to be fair, it does do a few things differently. You still have 10 victims to save in each level, but instead of a radar, they just yell at you, which isn't as accurate as a radar, but it adds a bit of extra challenge, so yeah, that's fair. Oh, and there's a story, complete with a boring, unnecessary, and long opening. Oh man, check out this stupid fat dialogue, Brosef. Man, are these kids ever with it? Ugh, why did the producers think that I needed a backstory to this game? It's not like they're trying to tie it into Zombies Ate My Neighbors or anything. How about instead you give me more hilariously cheesy level names? Nope, instead we get teeth that explode when they chomp down. Lame. Okay, one awesome thing. Instead of drinking a potion to become a monster, you become the Grim Fucking Reaper. Holy shit, this is badass. And you can still save people too. I figured like if you were the Grim Reaper and you touch people, they would die. Nah, go figure. But you can't jump while you're the Grim Reaper. And sometimes you need to. Like here, I just wasted a Grim Reaper potion. An example of a game not fully tested or thought through. Oh, and that reminds me, you can jump in Ghoul Patrol. Because hey, what was one thing that Zombies Ate My Neighbors was missing? Platforming! And above pits of instant death! And jumping is a huge pain in the ass, because you walk with momentum. Now on Zombies Ate My Neighbors, you were either running top speed or you were stopped. Which above all, made it easy to evade enemies. And you really need to evade enemies here because they spawn faster than they did in Gauntlet. And with so many things on the screen, it's hard to properly maneuver around them because it takes a moment before you can get up to top speed and outrun them. However, most enemies start to sprint when they get close to you and they can run faster than you can walk. It is super easy for them to corner you and drain your health. What else? Oh yeah, exits. They don't appear near you after you save the last victim. They appear in a set place. But it's never convenient. Like, take this level, for example. There's a victim located in the very top right-hand corner, and the way the level is designed, it's pretty much a given you'll get to him last. But where does the exit appear? At the start of the level, at the very bottom left-hand corner. God, this game is garbage. Okay, the one and only improvement, Ghoul Patrol allowed you to cycle back through your items. But you still can't cycle back through your weapons, so whatever. Alright, I can't stand to play this game anymore. Here are the facts, the irrefutable truths. Ghoul Patrol is available on the Wii Virtual Console for 800 Wii Points, and so is Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Furthermore, if you want to track down a physical copy of Zombies Ate My Neighbors, it'll net you around 20-30 bucks. And so will Ghoul Patrol. In fact, Ghoul Patrol might be more expensive because it's technically more rare than Zombies Ate My Neighbors. No matter how you slice it, Ghoul Patrol is the same price or sometimes more expensive than Zombies Ate My Neighbors, a game that is better in every possible way. If you want more Zombies Ate My Neighbors action, give Herx Adventure a shot. I hear it's pretty good, though I've still never played it myself. If you really like Ghoul Patrol, it's probably because you've never played Zombies Ate My Neighbors, which you should do instead. I'll see you on the next. Game Quickie!